Okay, are there any questions before we begin rounds? Uh, yeah, I, I know you're probably tired of questions about obstructive sleep apnea, but... Okay, first of all, I don't get tired. I'm a sleep medicine doctor. And second, discussing repetitive pharyngeal collapse during sleep is a huge part of this job. All right, well, I was reading about this medication called uh, tirzepatide. Ah, yes, the GLP-1 receptor agonist that reduces body weight. You know, there was a trial about this in the New England Journal of Medicine. <sighs> oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Sleepy time activities are encouraged on this rotation. Look at Phil. He comes to work in a swaddle. <laughs> anyway, there were two trials. Over 450 adults with moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea and obesity were assigned to receive either tirzepatide or placebo for a year. Trial 1 enrolled patients using CPAP. Trial 2 enrolled patients not using CPAP. Interesting. What did they find? In both trials, tirzepatide led to a significantly greater reduction in the AHI at week 52 compared to placebo. What's the AHI? It's the apnea hypopnea index. It measures the number of apnea and hypopnea episodes that occur during an hour of sleep. Wow, tirzepatide sounds pretty good. Well, the trial only lasted for 52 weeks and excluded people without obesity, but it's certainly a promising treatment. White noise? Please.